Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. My name is Zach, otherwise known as Poppy Syntax, and today... Oh boy, today isn't a good day. Now, it's a day off and it is gloomy outside, which is fine. Um, I've only done about 3,000 steps today out of my 12,000, so that's not great. But also, unfortunately this morning, uh, I, well, last night, but it's affected this morning, um, there has been one community transition uh, transmission every time transmission of um, the UK strain of the coronavirus. So that's not good. Um, the greater Brisbane area, which I'm located in, is going into a lockdown for three days. Th there will be a potential to increase that, but the next three days are going to be... Um, uh, a lot of testing being done, a lot of minimized social gatherings. I have the next three days off regardless, so I'm going to be a little bit stuck at home. Uh, I am stocked up in terms of groceries, so that's all good. Uh, mask wearing will be 24-7 outside of the home, which is fine. Um, but yeah, that's just a little bit of a, a life update with what's happening down in Brisbane. It's very unfortunate, uh, but hopefully we'll see a reduced community transmission and we'll see where we go. Today... Um, I've, I've put together my la my first week of the 12 week plan, but, uh, last night, my time, very early in the morning, her time, Miss, uh, Foodie Beauty, Miss Chantal Marie had come along with her upload, expected, uh, of the Torrid Tryon haul. Now, y'all know I love a haul and y'all know I'm here for fashion. So with all of that being said, let's jump into the video. As always, we are sped up to 1.25 times speed, and here we go! I keep it further away than I thought it was. There ah. you go. Strike a pose. Do do do. Strike a pose. <laughs> <laughs> I saw the thumbnail, so you know I'm excited for an animal print. Yes, mama, house down boots. Um. <laughs> I like this. I mean, that Mandela is in the background, and I, I am taking serious gumption with it. But with this, like, with this top, it's it's a color story that I'm here for. I love animal print. I love over the top animal print. I think that it's it's fun. I wish I could wear it, um, but I, you know, sadly can't. Well, I could. I just don't. There you go. Also, it looks like she's put effort into her makeup, which is great. Um, I. I kind of live for this, I live, I live for jewellery over a garment because it, it just, it's, it's full, like, it's full drag to me. So, like, the necklace over the turtleneck, I think is hilarious. It always reminds me of, like, a ring on a glove, like Miss Piggy. Like, so jewellery over clothing. Oh, goodness, this, this is something Miss Piggy would wear as well. I'm not trying to, like, be mean or anything, it's just I can see... I can see Miss Piggy wearing full, uh, <laughs> full animal print with some gold jewelry. Anyway. <gasps> I feel like a supermodel with this fan going, blowing my hair fibers all out of my head, but whatever. Hey guys, hey, hey guys, hey, how are you? How are you? I'm hyper, so you're going to get it. I feel like a million We're bucks. What can I say? <laughs> Since just, just cleaning my room. Like I just, I feel like a million bucks. I'm putting my makeup on. Good. And <clears throat> okay. So today you can see I'm wearing a bra. <laughs> today I just want to get. Get a good look at my accessories. <laughs> okay. Who'd have thought? Who'd have thought that like wearing undergarments would be such a <laughs> such a milestone? But okay. I told you it's hyper. All right, I gotta calm down. Okay, so today I have for you a torrid haul. Yes. Try on that I've been promising. Yes. I just want to thank you for your a patience. Couple of weeks. I'm sure a lot of you are used to how I am these days. So, all right, I thank you for sticking with me my mess. I'm going to try on some clothes. I just got a I few mean, articles of clothing. <sighs> Sorry if the no the fan is loud. I just, I have to, um, you can hear it. Have it on because Even with this, I can Especially hear it. Especially trying on clothes. I get really hot. So anyways, so I'm just going to show you what articles of clothing I got. These are all from Torrid. No, one shirt is not from Torrid. One shirt is from Pennington's. And I mean, I do most of my shopping at Torrid and Pennington's because honestly, I always end up finding things that I like from there. So I don't really have. Both Torrid and Pennington's specialize in plus size clothing. So that would probably be a reason why to shop there. Like, I mean, I don't know what Target is like over in the States and Canada, but for instance, here in Australia, you can find some larger articles of clothing, but I don't believe they go up to like five, six X. S like some lines might, but they definitely don't specialize in that style of 
garment. I, I assume places like Torrid, and there are others that we have in Australia, um, carry specific lines designed for plus size markets. I have to look elsewhere. I don't have many choices in Canada. I know some of you have suggested some. I mean, I Amazon. That. And, um, or just, you know. But yeah, these are from Pennington's shopping. and Torrid, and I'll tell you the sizes and where it's from. Internet shopping. Like How old am I? I think I'll go <laughs> is the price. So, all right. This is one shirt that I got. So, I'm going to show you with the pants that come with it. So, all right. So, these are the pants. Are they matching? They're black. They're leggings, so they're stretchy with and comfortable. I think that's head. very important as a bigger person. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, with an inset. So these are, I think they're a 5X. This shirt okay. is a 5X. Y'all don't need me to say it again because I say it in every haul. I don't get this sitting down showing me fabric. I just, I don't like it because I can't see anything. It doesn't show me shape. Like you may as well just like lay it all out on your bed and then get changed into it. Holding it up like this, it's like, oh look, it's a it's a palm and it's it's quite like wrinkled. Like there's no oh thank god it auto focused. <laughs> um there's there's no point in this for me. So these leggings have leopard print on them as well. On the inside. And the shirt, yep. so it matches with the shirt. The only thing I need is some leopard print boots, which I do not have. Because... We've got to talk about that. A full animal print look, it's a look. Like it is not it is not casual day wear. You are making a statement with animal print as a full look. Like if you're if you have like a handbag with an animal print on it, you don't like pair your entire outfit to go along with that. It can just be an accent. Um and as Miss Alaska Thunderfuck says, you know, animal print is a neutral. And it is, because it's beiges and browns and blacks and they're all within that neutral palette but a full outfit is a like you have to be you you're making a statement if you're wearing <laughs> if you're wearing full because at the moment print. wearing boots i mean it's covid so it's not like i really go anywhere <laughs> so yes that's a good point as well like the all these hauls don't make a lot of sense in in retrospect to covid because it's like, you're not going anywhere. You're in lockdown. Like, it's like me getting a a half a new wardrobe again and being like, look at all these beautiful things that I get to wear out. Oh, wait, no, I'm stuck at home. I just, I don't know. It's just, it, it, it feels a little bit like materialistic to just buy the things for the sake of having the things, not because you need the things or can use the things. Anyway. So I'm going to try these on with this shirt. All right, I didn't make my bed. The rest of my room is clean, as you saw in my video. If you didn't see it, check it out. But uh, anyway, and I got this. Also, we'll talk about that as well. Again, and <laughs> this is a great shot, <laughs> just as a, a fly screen in front of Chantel. Um, we didn't, I'm getting a bit close to the camera there, sorry guys. Um, we didn't talk about it a lot in terms of like the cleaning of the room. I didn't put two and two together to think that, would she be able to physically do that considering the, lack of mobility and the troubles that she's shown previously. I don't know. There are some theories out there. We, you know, we don't know. We'll never know. Am I just happy that the environment she's located in is clean for now? Yes. Cause you know, it just makes me happy to see some tidiness. Shawl. Now I got it's to go over sash. my dress because sure. the red sweater wasn't working. I think this is a five X. <gasps> The infamous New Year's Eve dress. <laughs> it's like a shawl kimono kind of thing. It's very, it's sheer. Just a black sheer kimono. kimono. Fancy one for like going over kimono. dresses or tank tops kimono. or things like that. Kimono. I don't I've know. been really, okay fan, I get it. Oh God. I, I've just put together what this look is reminding me of and it's um, Fran Fine from The Nanny. And if not her directly, her mother. That's the look. <laughs> That's what this is. Oh, bless. <laughs> Friend Dresha. Oh, no. That was it. I've been getting a lot of leggings because they're just so comfortable and you can get so many different kinds of cute leggings. You so don't have to wear pants. Are a, well, they are These pants, are a four. But... You can usually get away with four with leggings because they stretch. Not, so these are cute, aren't they? Like not the plaid. It, not the, no. Kind of. I'm already, I can already tell you this is going to look like a pajama pant when it's on. Because that, that, that style of fabric pattern, that's the word I'm looking for. That pattern just reads flannel and flannel reads pajama, unless it's like 
a button up or something. It's it's gonna look like pajamas. You know, with like a nice black shirt or something or a white sweater. It's not an outside outfit, I, just, I don't think. I like the pattern. My Ooh. opinion. All Got opinions those. are my own. I'll see get here. This is not open yet. Might see some jump cuts because yes. I'm trying to uh, clean up as I go. I have a garbage bag. So not everything ends up on the floor. Okay. So this is not how I thought it would be. This is a 5X, but it looks like it's made small. It's not the stretchiest of material. I thought it would be. It's okay. But the color is so nice. I have a matching lipstick and I just love the color. So I'll try that on with some leggings. Okay. That's, I mean, it's Speaking cute. Leggings. I think these are like... I don't know if these are like tights or leggings. They're kind of a mixture of both. I'm not seeing any graphic tees, so so far I'm happy. No, she showed these before. I think I showed you these. I showed you guys these. These are gonna be weird. I'm gonna try them on, see how they fit. Yeah, I don't like the look and of them. And this is the shirt. So all that was from Torrid. Oh, we've seen this before too. as well. I wore this for um, Christmas though, so you guys yeah. really already saw this shirt. Yeah. But this is the one from Torrid <clears throat> that I wore for Christmas. It's like the burgundy lace. It is so pretty. Yeah, it's a. And it's I had such matching burgundy. Top pleather pants i think burgundy and plum are the colors this year <laughs> sometimes it's i come in the house and just like strip right then and there what i'm making to happen <laughs> making to happen what i'm right. going to make happen and this oh, shirt is from boy, Pennington's, which caffeine. i really like it yeah we've seen this we've seen this or we've seen something similar to this right i i will hold judgment to when it's on um because i thought i mentioned this gives me like that mugler dress by Kim K just trickled down as the styles do into fast fashion. Um, and it's like water droplets or pearls. Um, yeah, I don't know. We'll see when it's on, but I've got thoughts I like about these shirts thing. that have like the bead detail Love on them. Love and legend. You know what I mean? So okay. this is supposed to go with the burgundy um, leggings as well. This is a 4X. Light gray so and burgundy. I would like it a size White? up, but Pearlescent? at least mm. if I lose some weight, it will fit. It'll still be one of those items that will fit anyways. So, okay. These are the earrings I'm wearing. I do have some Betsy Johnson leopard print. I don't like those earrings. I really like the style, but they look like they're made cheaply because on the back end, you can see the indent where the print of whatever aluminium it's made out of is. It just looks really cheap close up. Earrings. It's a cute style. Downstairs, but... So I could also wear those. Lipstick, Charlotte Tilbury, Walk of No All right. Shame. So... It's I'm going to okay try this clothes on, so let's get to, let's get to. Okay. Also, my stepdad for Christmas got me this new light. So I have oh, one for my mine. room now as well for my try-ons. And I could actually, has it comes with a stand to put your your phone in. Mm -hmm. It's very handy. So this one is even better than the one I have. So I thought mine that was has a very two extra uh, thoughtful down the bottom, gift. So you can so. get like multi-shot. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> number one, this shirt. Okay. And the leggings. I'm just wearing my slippers, so. Okay, first things first, I'm gonna do a haul of what I'm currently wearing and put it in here. Okay, so here's, uh, here's me. Um, this is a uh, like 1920s inst inspired pattern. It is gold and black on a rayon. Yeah, rayon material, uh, just designed as a button down. It's a large, it's cute. It's made by a designer named Connor um, with this kind of like light coffee short and white sneakers go. <laughs> so this is not how I would do it. And I've done a haul in the past. I'll put a card up maybe if I remember. Um, this is not how I would do it. Only in that, like, I, d I do mine in a very specific way, the one that I've done. Um, but I can't see a full, like, I can see almost a full body shot, but if you just tilted the camera down, like, three degrees, I would be able to see a full look. And it's quite clear that she's putting a bit of effort in here because she's got, um, like, she's got suitable makeup to go along with this outfit that she's kind of thought about and put together, but I can't see the shoe. And the shoe is like 90% of the outfit. Okay, that might be hyperbole. Um, but the shoe is an important aspect of the outfit. And if you're not wearing shoes with it, I mean, okay, that's fine. But like, throw a shoe on. <laughs> I want to see a shoe. You know what would be nice? Those kind of felty looking like Chelsea boots that she had shown earlier. That'd be a cute look with this. What do I think about the outfit? I am okay with it. I'm only okay with it. I quite like the top. I would wear that top. Um, but I'd pair it with like 
my go-to is usually like a, a black jean or a black denim or chinos or something. Obviously, she's not going to go for that. Um, I don't like these leggings though. And particular. okay, here's the thing, right? So with that slashing effect, effect, words, in the front of the legging, because it's having to stretch so hard, it just looks distorted. Um, like it looks like it's stretched too far. If you look closely at that bottom section um, of the pant, it looks like it's like that stress is under duress. So, I mean, it's okay, but we'll continue. I do like the fact that there's a fireplace on the TV. That's actually a hilarious idea. <laughs> Hard to see from all the way over there, but I'm kind of short, so I have to pull the leggings up high. But Just yeah, tilt the camera so down a bit. This is outfit number one, the leopard print. It's okay. Cheetah print or leopard, I don't know, with the shirt. We can just call it animal. Really cool combo with the red lipstick. So this is what it looks like from the side. That red is quite brown, so it bleeds really yeah. well into it. <laughs> I think this looks good. Like doing the 360 is great. You don't see a lot of the problem area that we talk about with Chantel in the fashion. So this this cut of shirt works really well. Um, it is a turtleneck though, or some some form of like extended neckline, which we saw in the close up. So I'm curious as to why she's not wearing it higher. Um, thinking about the logistics of that, obviously it's not going to work uh, for for every shape, but we can continue. My oh, goodness, the similarities to my stuff is hilarious. Anyway. All right, guys, changing my lipstick to match my shirt. Ah, uh, okay. effort, we'd love to so see this it. Is the shirt. I would probably, I mean, I know it's asking a lot, but if you're going to change your makeup, I think you should change your eye makeup to go along with that. <laughs> my history with eye makeup, not great, but... You know, if you're going to wipe off your lips and put on a new lip to match your outfit, I think if you did a full makeup change, like that would be, that would show a lot of effort and, you know, foodie beauty, like it makes sense. This is me just saying what I would love to see at like full effort. It's not a requirement at all. It really isn't that deep or matters that much. It's just something I might suggest to Chantel for additional content if she continues to do hauls and wants to showcase different elements of makeup along with the outfits. I actually really love it. I put on a pair of those hmm. leatherette, leatherette black pants with it. Before she goes on, this is a no from me. Um, this is a boot. <laughs> it's a boot. Um, I quite like the top. Yeah, I like the top. I don't quite understand. All right. So I like the pattern. I like the pattern. The cut looks okay. I'm not sure what that neckline is. It's kind of squared into like a, almost like a, a gem cut, like size. If anyone knows the name of that neckline, feel free to let me know. Um, the thing that I like, like about this is the pattern, right? Like that, that floral pink and white on black background. It's a nice cut of fabric. Now, where it's been butchered, in my opinion, and the reason why I, I vehemently now, looking closer, don't like this top, is the paneling. The paneling is potentially the most lazy thing I've ever seen. Because when you take a pattern, sorry, when you take a fabric that has a pattern on it and you cut your pattern shapes into panels someone who puts a little bit of care into the design will match up those panels so the pattern if not seamlessly is at least close right so that you're in this instance the the flower print is kind of leading into flower print and the black is leading into the black um looking at this and the the monstrosity of the the stitching is right in the center so right where there's that fake buttoned section it is it, like they have pissed into the wind when it comes to matching up the patterns um or ma matching up the print with the panels it's not a p words in what i'm trying to say um i get it it's torrid it's probably not like supremely expensive but if I'd have seen this on a model, I probably would not buy it only in for the, for the simple reason that there are so many front panels to this outfit 
and the 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 actual printing doesn't match up in any way. So it just looks hodgepodge Hobby Lobby and I don't like it. Um, speaking of things I don't like, these pleather leggings, throw them out, Chantel, burn these leggings because there's too much shine, there's too much plastic here. And unfortunately with the top of this cut, we can see everything in what, what I'll kindly refer to as is the problem area. Um, I think these leggings would look better in a dumpster, but with the cheetah top, at least that front like tunic cut would hide a little bit of what's going on here. With this cut, absolutely not. Hell no, but that's just my opinion. It's, it's a beautiful top, what can I say? Um, the print's nice, here, but, the, but it's like, the patterning is awful. It's all sewn shut. I love the neckline, very flattering and because again, if you look at this, there are th four panels on the front plus the button stitch, like in the center. None of them match up. None of none of the pattern leads into each other. Like if you were making this at home, you could perhaps like flip the pattern so that like things would actually match up. But those two, two panels on the left-hand side that are literally duplicate pattern running into each other, you could just mirror those and it would look a lot better. But instead, it's just like a duplicate linear or duplicate lead. And it looks fucking awful. Sorry, I did like this because I was like, oh yeah, floral, pinks, fuchsia, white, black, love it. So the actual material is quite nice. But put it, whoever put this together needs, no, no man. I sometimes buy clothes because I know I have a matching lipstick. And this time I was right. This is Pink Cubo from MAC. And... <laughs> and there. No, bur burn those pleather leggings. These absolutely are not. With it. I no, just they're not. Absolutely love this. Okay. Okay, guys. So this is these earrings to match the beads. Did on she the change shirt. back lipstick? And this lipstick uh, I've paired with it. Oh, it's a new one. Is called okay. Sex on the Peach by Too Faced. So let's see how this shirt looks. Do we like or do we not like Too Faced? I can't remember. Beauty drama is too much to keep up with. Too Faced, good or bad? I can't remember. Anyway, not important. With these pants, I just kept the pleather pants on. Now, probably doesn't cover all uh, of my out of belly, focus. but it's still a pretty cute top. I do Again, I would be recommending, really we'll like let this like run. Said, what attracted me to it <laughs> Damn it. was these pearl I can't see. kind of things. Focus. <laughs> on it, so, <laughs> so this is what it looks like. I can't see. Is she gonna fix it or? These pants. No? Yeah. So this is the, the Pennington shirt. So it's not too warm. It is a sweater, but it's not a sweater that is I should come closer. Too, too Good. Maybe it'll like There we go. Hey, um, <laughs> again, we didn't get to see the whole thing, but I honestly think that Chantel, if you look, I'm not here to tell people what to wear. I'm not here to tell people ha how to feel comfortable. You do you boo. As long as you're happy, that's fine. I just think if you're going, as a bigger person, I experienced and learnt ways to hide certain things, which I tried to, wasn't always successful, but at least I was aware of what I was doing. Um, yeah, I honestly think that the tunic style cut of that uh, animal print top would be better. Like that should be the style du jour for Chantel, because I think it would hide a lot of issues. Does she have to hide them? Absolutely not. If I were in her body, would I wish to hide them? Yes, but that's my own personal thing. So that's fine. As for this top, I like the fact she's paired it with these earrings, which we know she had before, before Christmas or was it last year? No, year before last that she got them. She got them with the, she got like a set of earrings, which were way too big. And they were like square, like dinner plate things. That was all a, a, a jewelry haul of some description. Um, I don't like this. I could see why people would. I don't like the the detailing of the pearls. Only in that it's only on the front. I think if if you were to if you were to design this at home, right, or if you were to make a dupe at home, um, it, it would be first of all relatively easy. But second of all, I honestly think that pearl, um, or the the bead design should go all the way around. 
So almost like a, um, like a capelet look. So it should be this same panel in the front replicated on the back and then like the design around the shoulders. And it would be super cute if you then did beading like down the seams of the arm. There we go. Hello, my arm. Um, down the seeds, seams of the arm. So it looked a little bit more complete rather than just like 20 beads stuck. Like there's a pattern there, but it's just, just looks like they've been thrown on the front of it. Um, yeah, I definitely think you could add more detail to this. Again, it's fast fashion, so nobody cares. These are just my opinions. But um, if anyone does look to duplicate this style of uh, of top, I'm not sure if it's a jumper or a, or a, a t-shirt or something, um, I would like to see a little bit more effort put into the actual applique. Really warm sweaters when I'm inside, um, or even when I have to put a coat over top, but it's just too much. But this is light enough, so I really like it. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. No, because, I made a video. So, you have seen this um, skater dress on me before. Yes. However, I'm going to, I think it would be a good- Speaking of those earrings, those are the earrings. They are way too big. I'm sorry. Like, I'm a big fan of the giant hoops, but these these look uncomfortable. Fit. I'm gonna see if it's a good fit to wear the sheer leggings um, with this dress. So let's find out. They look like they'd be stabbing me in the neck. <laughs> if it works, let me know your thoughts. Oh, shoes. Okay, what are our thoughts? We've seen this dress before, so I don't really have too much more to say. It's a really good length um, on her, obviously. It fits well on the arms, like it's almost a three-quarter length instead of all the way down to the wrist, which is good. I'm a fan of showing a little bit more flesh. Um, but again, it's my personal style in my opinion. Um, yeah, the square saucer sized earrings gotta go i'm not like they are that's a bangle that's not an earring that's something you put on your arm not your face um the color's nice this kind of like pinky it kind of reads a little brown on my screen but i think it's more of like a dusty rose like deep dark pink um the leggings we can hardly see i look unfortunately my brain sometimes goes a little like sideways and fishnets or like paneling of that that style to me on a bigger person kind of just reminds me of the string people use to tie like kitchen twine um on like a ham hock which is not me trying to be rude it's just the the things i see um you know if you're a bigger person and you wear fishnets i may have worn fishnets once or twice um like if you're a bigger person, your your fat can protrude, protrude through it and it's really not a good look. So although that's not happening here that I can see, it, I just, I don't know if like a square design on tights is it. Also these moccasin like house shoes, I'm all here for, but obviously they're not going with this outfit because I would read that, but no. <laughs> I can't really see from here, so I'll probably only really see when I'm editing. But what do you guys think? Yay, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. It's like a going down the shops outfit for me. Then again, I go to the shops in this, so. At least like I thought it was like, <laughs> we're like half legging, half sheer kind of. So, yeah. I don't know. But. They're fine. I would only ever wear this Oops. with a dress. Because you wouldn't want to see that like pure <laughs> black yeah. panel at the top. It's okay. <laughs> Okay, so this is a shirt I've had for a long time. Wait, we've seen this really before. What? This is called a haul. We've seen these outfits before. Outfits before. Outbits. Wow, Zach, wake up. Um, we've seen these before. What are we doing here? I mean, I'm not. I'm not mad at it if you're showing, like I've said previously, if you pull your basic stuff and then showcase things you have hauled with basic things, so that you can be like, oh, this is the plan for the outfit, or this is, you know, whatever, whatever. But we've seen this before. I don't know, I feel fun. Mm. And um, this is a Rimmel Kate 111 lipstick. Rimmel? And these are the final pair Rimmel. of pants, final outfit. Who are you? This it's Rimmel. <laughs> so, as you can see. As you can see, Zach Pulpy, you are right. Those pants look like you're going to bed in them. They look like sleepwear. Not, it looks flannel, I'm sorry. Sorry to anyone who would enjoy this. Like, maybe you could style it differently. Definitely not with this top, I think, too much. It, they still look too casual. They, like, 
this print looks really casual. And with the very thin single ply tulle sleeve that's going on on the top, that's a little bit more like, oh, I'm going out and having a drink or like, it's definitely not formal wear, but it's got an element of, of, you know, dressy uppiness. <laughs> Wow. Um, to it, but these leggings are no. I again, these leggings, if you styled them correctly, I think you could get them to a place that doesn't look like pajama wear. Um, probably more casual. So like if I were gonna wear these, ooh, should I start wearing leggings? I could almost get away with it now. Interesting. Um if I were to style these leggings, I would be going because Chantel quite often mentions how, how gothic she was <laughs> as a teenager. So like, I think this would work well if you're going for a full black and white look, I would go with like your biggest pair of Doc Martens with these pants, with, um, with like a bike jacket or just something. Again, it's really hard because it reads flannel so heavily. And I don't think the black is like dark enough. Um, it all, because of the white, it all bleeds together into this kind of gray mess. So yeah, I don't know. I think you could, you could dress this up into grunge for sure. Um, like maybe throw a denim jacket on it or something, but or you could take it to goth as well. Um, but yeah, you would need to style this pretty heavily for it to be anything. I don't like this top. This black kind of windowpane leggings. Um, I really like them. They fit nice. I think the four fits oh, nice. Cat. Oh, hi, boys. <laughs> Sorry, cat distraction. And cause I'm more form fitting. So and then just like that. Nah, not for me. What do you think, Sam? You like this? Comment below. <laughs> so, yeah, very comfortable, stretchy leggings, but still fashionable is what I like about the leggings. So yes. They could be fashionable. Okay, here's the discussion. Anything can be fashionable, legitimately anything, because style is subjective and it's entirely up to you whether or not you enjoy it. Now, does that make it fashion? No, but a good rule of, of thumb, at least for fashion is that anything can be fashionable. It's, it's the effort and transformation that you put into it. It's also the styling that you put with it. If you enjoy it, that's fine. Fashion, much like art, very subjective, hard to define, yada, yada. <laughs> But yes, anything can be fashion. Whether or not you appreciate it as such is entirely subjective. These pants, yes, you could, sorry, tights. Yes, you could make fashion, but it would need a lot of styling. And it, like, it would be a look. It's not just one article of clothing being fashion. It is the look, the aesthetic, the, the noose of it all, as I say. Instead of just wearing the same old black plain leggings, you know? So anyways, so comment below. Let me know what your favorite outfit was. And if you like these videos, please thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. Bye, Chantel. Come here, Sam. Oh, there's more. There's cats. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> Say bye. <laughs> bye. Say bye. <laughs> okay, well, that was actually great. I really do appreciate when we get a haul um, because... And to Chantel's credit, I think she's put more effort into this than previous hauls. There's been changes of makeup. There's been changes of accessories. I actually appreciate that. And I think this may be um, derived from a cleaner working environment for her or living environment for her, um, which is is great. I'm here for all of the hauls. If anybody has any, um, any recommendations for other YouTubers to follow or other hauls or haulers to watch and kind of talk about in terms of a a critical fashion eye, um, please leave a comment below because I'd, I'd love to watch more content and make you guys happy. Uh, with all of that being said, thank you so much for getting to this point in the video. As always, I appreciate your comments, opinions, and eyeballs, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.